Hey Piscatorians, welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Seattle at Shell Shoal Marina and we're gonna go out for some Christmas crab. We're gonna show you how to do it today. We got some fast fishing pots and some normal pots. If you guys don't know what that means, I'll show you when we get out there. All right, we're gonna head out. You know. Hey, happy. It's one week before Christmas, and uh, we got people swimming in the water for fun. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yep, they're out there doing a little freestyle. Water temperature is 47.2. They got wetsuits on, but I still think that's nuts. Anyway, that was all. <laughs> so they're getting ready for a marathon. So I've actually never crabbed in uh, Marine Area 10. Uh, so we went uh, straight across over to Kingston. So this is where we're gonna give it a shot. All right guys, so uh, we got our first pot um, going. This is what's uh, known as a fast fishable pot. And basically it has no ramp, it's a flat bottom. So the crab can get in it uh, much faster than say one with a ramp. Um, so they do fish a little bit faster. Um, we got it stuffed with a chew bag have some American shad and salmon carcasses in there. And we're gonna set it at about 60 feet to uh, do the first one. We have wife's gonna hit the waypoint for us. We're the only ones actually crabbing out here, so that's great, you know, winter crabbing. It's cold, so a lot of people don't, uh, you know, come out. But we're gonna see how we do. Hopefully this is a good spot. guys and then this one is my most expensive pot as you can see here it's got the ramps to get in it's got the little doors this one's gonna fish a little bit slower but uh, crab are less likely to escape out of it um, again we did a, a, a chew bag and it's got um, salmon carcasses and some rainbow trout carcasses so we're gonna try this next we're doing this one a little deeper right about 80 feet off it goes all right guys, and last but least, we have our least expensive pot, the collapsible. Again, another fast fishing pot that they can get in real easy. And we're gonna put this one, this be a shallowest one, 40 feet. So here we go. Okay, now we wait. Yeah, if you guys are new to crab anatomy, this is the male 
has a real narrow abdomen and they got to be in hard shell condition which she is and uh yeah looking good real good and we got all the seagulls with it huh? yep and we got the seagulls <laughs> Mr. Crab. All right. The last. Or so or fifty, actually. Uh, and I'll let you know, honey, when to uh, put the red button back in. hit the red button. Looks like we might have one. I'll let you have the camera. Crabby! Hi Crabby! <clears throat> oh, yeah, that one might make it. Then we got some little guys that look like they just molded. They're purple. Oh yeah, they are. Check that out. Look at his legs. Their legs look purple. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but they're very pretty. Oh. I have to get him out of the boat. I think he's going to be too short. But we'll measure and confirm. Yep, too short. Too he'd be, short. if we were on the coast, he'd be six inch, he's about six and an eighth. But uh, back he goes. Goodbye. He's getting up into your. Yeah. <laughs> hey, leave nice the crab purple. alone! <laughs> <laughs> the seagulls are picking on the crab. Rude. See, this is what happens when you crab in the Puget Sound. You end up with these guys, they stalk you for the entire day. And because they think you're gonna give them something, which typically we do once we're done. But they stalk you. All right, we're gonna go ahead and stack, unless it gets a lot better and uh, get ready to move. hot so we're still gonna stack them and we're gonna try a new spot uh, just because it's all about checking these out like if you guys haven't been out here crabbing you can definitely get them right out here in Kingston as you see but kind of got a grind for them right now unless uh, you guys know of any better spots over here but uh, we're gonna uh, try the little well box but yeah nice crab So we uh, are over by the oil docks. You can see them behind us, um, just south of them here. And uh, this is our second new spot we're gonna try. We've been soaking for about 45 minutes. Um, we put one really shallow, about 28 feet. And then uh, we did one about 50 and one at about 70. So we're gonna check those, run through them real quick. And we got uh, one more time for another hour soaked and then we're gonna have to call it a day.
luggage. Just molted soft, so you can't keep it in that condition. Bummer. That's a bummer. I thought the camera was on, but we got a good one finally. We'll call that one a hubcap for sure. And he's hard. Hard, hard, hard. Where's the belt? Yeah, that one is a good one. He's a solid, oh, probably right at seven inches. And he's clean, but he's hard. He hardened up. So that's a good one. Number four, maybe we'll get one limit. Anyway, funny enough for dinner. Awesome. Keepers over in Kingston. We got a couple of keepers uh, south of uh, the oil docks here. Um, definitely not the uh, you know total stellar crabbing day, but got enough for dinner. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's video and uh, coming along for the ride with us. Um, also, hope you guys have a uh, merry Christmas and happy holiday. And 
Thanks for watching, and as always, tie lines.